Hey y'all, what's up? How everything going today? Um, I know I promised y'all a while ago that I was gonna do a part two. I mean, not nah, a part four, not nah, part three and a part four of the R. Kelly video, but it never really fell through because everybody who was gonna do it, except for two people, like backed out of it. Jay and Burberry was the only ones who didn't back out, but the other three people they backed out. So I decided, you know. And not even do it, you know what I'm saying, I just thought it would be, it's fuckery, and it's not like I got a whole lot of subscribers or followers anyway on, on this channel or my Solomon channel, you know what I'm saying, but hopefully when I go back to a new page, that will change, so I'm gonna have one more channel that's gonna be my personal channel, which is gonna be the uh, new page channel, I'm gonna go back to a new page, cause that's where everybody really know me as. But I'm still gonna make 700 videos on this channel, like I said. So, no matter how long it takes or how it goes down or whatever. Sorry for the camera dropping. It's just I got this shit set up on my dresser, so. But today, man, what I kind of want to talk about a little bit is those uh, mega churches. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this video, I promise you. Um, all I want to say, man, is that uh, God can talk to you on your own. You know, no matter what you've done, no matter what you did. If you pray to God in Jesus Christ, man, and you sincere with your prayer, they will help you. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like the idea, what made me bring this shit up, me and my mom got into this con this heated conversation uh, not too long ago, and she be looking at this motherfucker named Mike Murdoch, that come on TV, and talk about all this prosperity, about how you can have money, how you do this, how you do that, and God gonna bless you, and all that shit, and I'm not being disrespectful when I say this, I believe that you should give if you're going to give, give to your local church. Give to, you know, motherfuckers in the neighborhood. Give to people that you know that might need something. Give it to them. Don't give it to these motherfucking mega churches that's be going around talking all this bullshit, man. Because I do fake and phony as fuck, yo. And that's some real shit. They'll tell you that, you know, you get them money, you're going to get cured from cancer. You're going to get healed. All of this shit. And it's been a couple of uh, people that done that. They had cats and shit like that. Were giving all they money, giving they last and all that shit. And they still didn't get cured. That's why I encourage everybody to talk to God on your one-on-one. -on -one. Do not believe these bullshit ass mega churches. Niggas talking about they need got them a $20 million jet. If God really want them to have a $20 million fucking jet to fly around and help people, God would give them that. You don't have to kick up no money of your own to give that shit to them. If God want them to have that, they will wind up having that shit. Just like when God wanted me to have a car. You know what I'm saying? I got money and the fucking mail that they owed me when I got fired from my old job. It was back pay that they gave me. And I had way more than enough money that I need to get the car that I want. That I saw on Craigslist. Because I don't do uh, car payments anymore. And I refuse. I'm never doing car payments ever again in life. You can't take none of this money with us. I know that. But save money for yourself. Do not fuck around and give all your money to these bullshit ass goddamn mega churches and all these fake ass profit ass preachers out here. Because they are full of shit. I'm telling you what the fuck I know. I'm not saying I'm the best guy in the world. I'm not. But these motherfuckers is liars, man. They are fucking liars. Do not fall for that shit. The only mega, like, preacher that I feel like is real sincere and genuine right now is that motherfucker Joseph Prince. He the only one that I feel that's real, like, sincere what he's saying. All these other motherfuckers, look, let me tell you about Joseph Prince. Joseph Prince don't even want money for him, you know what I'm saying, Joseph Prince said his books alone 
give him the money that he need to support himself. He said, all the money you give to my church, that just goes to my church. It don't go to me. That's the most humblest thing I ever heard any motherfucker say. You feel me? But my mom was trying to tell me the other day that she didn't feel like she was getting blessed. Because she won't give him Mike Murdoch enough fucking money. Man, keep your fucking money for yourself. God will give you a send of an idea of who to give your money to. Fuck these major churches, man. Give it to your local towns. Your fucking, your family and shit like that that need help. Give it to them people. God will bless you. You give it to people who actually need it. Fuck these churches, man. They full of shit. And I'm telling you what the fuck I know. Like, almost every church I go to, right? They won't even teach you None of the other books. All they want to teach you is just the King James Version. They don't teach you the book of Enoch. They don't teach you the book of Jubilees. They don't teach you the Testament of Solomon. They don't teach you a lot of these fucking books, bro. A lot of these books they don't fucking teach, man. It's better to find God on your own with Jesus Christ. It's good to have guidance. It ain't nothing wrong with a great church home. Nothing's wrong with that. But don't give all your money to these motherfuckers, man. Because you do that, you won't have no money to leave like, for yourself and your loved ones, bro. Let me tell you something I've been doing. The job I was just working at at 7 Up, they fired me on some bullshit. But God blessed me to get another job quick and easy, just as that quick as that happened. I got another job already. You know what I'm saying? Already in the works and everything. But, if I would have took everybody fucking advice that told me, Hey man, get that brand new car, you got a nice job, get that brand new car, get that car, man. Fuck your old car, man, don't worry about getting that shit fixed, man. Just get you a brand new car, get your brand new car. I will be fucked, because... You pay like three hundred and some dollars a month plus your insurance, plus all the wear and tear and all the oil changes and all that shit you gotta do for your fucking car. I would have no money to spend for my fucking self. Damn, I'm burping like a motherfucker. I think it's making me burp too. I think it's this damn Jack Daniels mix with the Sprite that be making me burp too. But anyway, and if it wasn't for God giving me the initiative, the idea. To save like thirty dollars every check, I was getting paid every week, but I was saving thirty dollars every check for a whole shit. I say like a whole twelve months, almost a year, yeah, a year and some change. I was saving thirty dollars every check, and that's the only thing that kept me going as a float. pay my bills and stuff now that I'm not working, even though my job, you know, I just, you know, got this new job, but I don't start training until until this Monday, and I probably won't get my first check until, like, probably, I don't even know, probably my first check won't be to the 10th or 11th, but I got shit to pay before then, I got, like, six bills to pay before the 11th of next month even hit, not to, not to mention rent, you get what I'm saying? So if I would listen to everybody and just spend all my money on dumb shit, I wouldn't be able to uh, look out for myself right now. And I always look out for other motherfuckers that need help. Always. Not just people in my family, but just other people I always looked out. And God bless me in my own right that I didn't have to uh, do shit for no mega church or none of that. God bless me in my own right. And God will bless you in your own right too if you do what needs to be done. Dude, sometimes I would take money that I had in my pocket when I was at the Wawa's, right? And give it to bums. Like the 10% that, you know, Jesus asked for. Sometimes I'd fuck around and give it to bums. And God had blessed me and looked out for me for doing that than when I was giving it to a damn church. You get what I'm saying? So my point that I'm trying to make to y'all is I don't give a damn what job you got or what you're doing. Save some money for yourself and your family and give it to strangers or give it to other people that you don't know. Don't give it to these motherfucking mega churches, man. They full of shit. I'm telling you what I know. They are full of shit. That goes for Mike Murdoch, Cray for a Dollar, hell, even goddamn Joe Osteen. All the motherfuckers, man. I don't fuck with any of them. They're full of shit. I listen to their sermons. They're good. Okay. But they all teach you this goddamn gospel about being 
prosperous. They don't never tell you the bad shit about the gospel. They always tell you, oh, you're always going to be live and you always going to have a lot of money. This world is not meant for you to have, for everybody to have a shitload of money. It's not. And if you do have a shitload of money, make it a blessing to other people. Like the nigga Nipsey Hussle did. Nipsey Hussle may have businesses and shit for other people. He opened up a store. He did all kind of shit. That's another thing I understand. It's not all people that try to do good. They the ones that get killed. But all these motherfuckers around doing this bullshit. They get to go on and on and on and on and on with they dumb shit. And I'm sick of it, man. Take care of your family. Take care of yourself. And pray to God. Ask God what he want you to do. What he want you to do. Fuck them mega churches, man. Them niggas ain't gonna do shit for you. Dude, they don't even pray for you for real. You be giving them all that goddamn money to say, we pray for you. They have motherfuckers that sit down and they'll pray for you or they'll, uh, well, of course, you know, the nigga can't, you know, respond to everybody in mail. I understand that. But this mother, these motherfuckers don't personally pray for none of y'all niggas, man. They don't. They get other people to do it and they send them a forged fake letter like saying they signed it and make it look like it was written by them. But really, they got a whole staff and a whole team that actually does that. These motherfuckers don't even know you. And I'm going to tell you how I know this shit to be true. So, when I was younger, I believed in giving to a, you know, church that I didn't know, right? But, uh, my real name is Charlamar Bray, right? So, when I got the mail and the thing, when I got the mail in the mailbox and it came to me, and I told them plenty of times that I'm a dude, they still kept telling me, Miss Shalomar Bray. Miss Shalomar Bray? No, nigga, mister. I ain't no fag. I ain't no faggot. I ain't none of that shit. That's why I go buy a new piece of Solomon and Revan. Because when people, when I, when I say Shalomar, niggas just assume, oh, that must be a girl. No, man, that's a nigga. That's what my dad named me. You know what I'm saying? That's what my dad named me. He named me Shalomar, but he said, fuck that. My son and everybody that's around, I'm going to call him Solomon. That's his nickname. That's his nickname. Reverend and Lupez, I, I put that on myself. I gave myself, myself on two names. But, he was just like, shit, I lost track of what I was about to say. But fuck it, we're going to get back. It's like, I, 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 I'm swearing on topic anyway. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. To make the long story short is, these motherfuckers are calling me Miss Sha Mrs. Shalomar Bray, right? So I'm thinking in my head, if God, they say God told us your problem and that you need help. God gave me a vision all about you, Mrs. Shalomar. Well, if God gave you a vision about me, Mr. Anderson, what do you fucking knew that my name was Mr. and not Mrs.? What do you know that I was a fucking dude that been with the same girl for like six years or, you know what I'm saying? Or when you know that I'm the same, you know, I'm not no gay dude. I ain't no faggot. I ain't no tranny. I ain't none of that shit. I'm a straight up fucking male. A straight fucking male. You feel me? Now, if, if God gave you the vision, why God didn't show you that I was a goddamn man and not a fucking girl? You feel me? So that shit let me know right there, them motherfuckers is fake, man. That shit let me know that them niggas is fake. They don't give a fuck about you, man. They don't give a fuck about you. They just want your fucking money. They just want your fucking money, man. That's all they want. They just want your fucking money. They don't give a fuck about you, man. And that is so fucking serious, yo. Like I said, I'm going to keep this shit brief and keep it short. Well, actually, it was kind of long. But I only want to do 14 minutes. And I'm done. God bless. Be blessed.